First, this new time, though, we're working developing news that a man shot and killed in Providence. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you the area of Canal and Smith Streets down the hill from the State House. This is where it was first reported that shots were fired overnight. I want to check in now with Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright. She's live at the Providence Public Safety Complex where she just spoke with police a few moments ago. That's right. I just got out of a news conference here at the Providence Public Safety Complex where police to told me about two shootings that happened this morning. They're looking for suspects in, in the shootings that left one man dead and another seriously hurt. Now take a look at this video. Uh, the first shooting happened near Roger Williams Memorial Park. Officers got a call around 1.15 this morning about two cars chasing each other. They later got a call about shots fired. And when they got to the scene, they found a young man, a young man's body lying on Canal Street. And he was pronounced dead on the scene. Police say that victim was in his 20s and he was driving a car when someone in another car behind him shot at him. They found the victim's car crashed into a parked car at the park. Now the other shooting happened within 30 minutes of this incident. That shooting happened on Nebraska Street and a man went, in, went to Rhode Island Hospital in critical condition. Police say both shootings may be gang related and here's what Major David LePayton had to say. At about 1.15 we received a call of two cars um, either chasing each other or following each other or one pursuing another. Um, also shots fired. A few seconds later we got another call that one of them had crashed on Canal Street. When the officers arrived they observed a vehicle in the parking lot of the Roger Williams Memorial. If you have any information that could help police solve this suit, that shooting or the one on Nebraska Street, Providence Police want you to give them a call. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.